Hello again. This is the second of our short videos on the building of our Pagayan moon court. We used our front driveway where Tom and Rob could mix the material for the cob wall. It was noisy, but it was fun and inspiring to see how crushed bitumen and straw could bond so well. Around this time, Glenys and I spent a day or two pondering the wisdom of what and how we were building. It was then that we received a very rare and auspicious visitor. We did some quick research and learned how and why the ibis is known as the heart bird and how this bird inspired ancient builders of sacred places by giving them the original cubit measurement. Any doubts we entertained about our building methods were soon dispelled. With such creative confirmation, we soon laid out our pre-made solstice windows and got back to imagining what the cob wall was going to grow into. This each layer you put on wants to come out anyway. So you just, just keep it in a little bit. It'll come out. Plus we've still got to render it anyway. Alright. I was fascinated when being shown by Jason how the cob wall is built without using framework or any such support. It was more like building a sand castle on the beach. To work with it wasn't long before the solstice windows were in place and beginning to take shape. Workflow of it. And Tom was obviously back in his element. The cob is put on in layers, with the previous layer drying out enough to support the next layer. It is the straw that does the reinforcing work. Here Jason is creating the space for the summer solstice window. And this is what the cob wall now looks like from the outside, opposite the two solstice windows. Even the most serious down to Mother Earth cobbers can be funny. <laughs> then it's down to some even more serious work. Concreting the floor and preparing to receive Bruna Bigtree's version of Iron Henge. With the solstice windows now in their places, Glenys prepares the moon court for its first spring equinox. Eostar 2008. <laughs>